uppercut, uppercut, sonic boom! Well, hello there, human sippy earthlings. Whoever you are, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, if you're lucky enough indeed to be doing it too. Uh, today's video is going to be me and the STB and then Private Pickle Pants, a uh, famous military icon of the late 20th century, running the WZ 114 SP2. And he's got the Interceptor camo, so we'll call it the Interceptor. The Scepter. Uh, Pickle Pants, you beautiful thing, you. And I'm not going to go full esports mode today because, boys and girls, I have a bit of a cut. A bit of a scratchy, tickly throat. We're just going to be talking as we go through. The other day when I said the T100 LT is probably my most played tank, I, I said I play it when I want to have fun and I enjoy enjoying myself. But if I really want to win, it's generally the STB1 that I rumble. And we were having a stream that was a little bit of a disaster just last week. And I jumped in the old STB1. And sure enough, the magic still... Still got it, baby. Still got it. The magic's there. Now, the STB-1 is obviously... It doesn't really need much of an introduction. It's it's insane what this tank brings to the table. And I keep expecting it to be nerfed, disappeared, taken out the back of the woodshed and given a good dose of 2x4 across the scalp. But it doesn't happen. It's an 11 degree of gun depression tank that's 10% more than its nearest rival at the top of the tech tree and it's got a very unique ap and high penetration ap combo with its uh with its ammo you see its armor piercing does 245 millimeters of pen and its high pen ap does 320 millimeters of pen now you might think nothing exciting to write about there bushka but the thing is the damage on the AP is 330. The damage on the high pen AP is 320. For an absolutely massive, massive gain in penetration of 55 millimeters, you lose 10 points of average damage on your alpha. That is why with a strong turret, high pen premium ammo, and 11 degrees of gun depression, while still maintaining a pretty bloody good mobility profile, the STB is absolutely broke. Now, this game was actually a pretty decent drive. Uh, I was struggling, but we got a nice bounce here. But, you know, you, you had been plenty of bad bounces thus far. And it was a 2v2. What I wanted to do here was leave the yo in the dust and circle back behind the badger clear the badger and give us a 2v1 that was going to take some time so i just had to have some patience here to make the right plays because i mean if you're gonna hinge off any kind of tank in this game doing it off the mouse is the right way to do it i'm going long here so that the yo is going to have to come all the way around the corner to get me and i'm going to get uninterrupted high definition but but fun on the uh, badger go badger Trying to track him as he makes a desperate attempt to go around the other corner. And as games go that are high damage, this wasn't particularly amazing. I thought this was a really solid drive on a day when everything wasn't going right. Now, the next game you're going to see, I think, is an absolutely sensational drive in a game where it was absolutely barnstorming at the end there is all kinds of tension in the end of this thing so stick around and we're going to have a little chat now about the other hero of today's games uh the wz114 now i just got this thing in a crate myself i actually bought the 10 pack of crates by 25k burning a hole in my pocket and i got the tank twice so i got seven and a half thousand gold back ended up costing me about eleven thousand gold all up Maybe a little under. 10,000 gold, actually. I think about 10,000. That's pretty good 6.5k there for the STB. Here's Private Pickle Pants. This tank has all kinds of cool features. Uh, a strong turret. Not great gun depression and not great mobility, but a strong turret and a very big damage gun. 620 alpha on the gun. It's a 152mm gun. 
and it's got i mean back in the day if you had a 150 millimeter gun it did 640 alpha that's all there was to it well wargaming changed a lot of that stuff with good good reason he and uh and average alpha damage being what they are i think it was a great decision to tinker around a little bit with the damage that the 150s do um it's got a strong turret it's not impervious but this tank reminds me of a chinese e100 with the hull down being the preferred method rather than the side scrape but it can do a lot of both it does unfortunately look ugly as sin it's just like a box and when i fire it the gun doesn't generally get uh as beautiful a snapshot as that but i'm very happy that private pickle pants is capable of doing these things what i like about this drive is how often he puts this gun in the right position and puts the tank in a right in a good position where it excels he spends so little time exposing the sides of this tank and they are very easily penned and he's so careful about staying hull down these chinese heavies are notoriously low profile but with guns that aren't particularly accurate and as you can see so far he's had some very good rngs the gun itself 0.389 dispersion running double rations and fully equipped so yeah it's not exactly what you would call an incredibly effective gun in terms of aim this is where i think it's really quite cool uh you can see him choosing and selecting targets that are killable targets and you're going to see the enemy t62 make an absolutely terrible decision in uh, just a short while anyway here we go looking onwards and upwards as pickle pants watches the team crumble around him look at this he's thinking about the grill look at that you gotta love it you gotta love it that is well, not the t62 rather the object 140 now that is a one shot over there and he elects instead to go for pickle pants now that was a mistake he could have cleared a gun and to be frank if he had cleared that gun then i think this would not have been the same result that it ended up being he kept that gun in the game for a little while longer kept the crossfire going the 140 again ignores him takes a hit from the tank the type 71 he could have driven straight through there and got into that 71 uh you'll also note down the back of the map there there is a 183 that is afk yeah so pickle pants doing things tough here he's got the tank in a wonderful position on this bridge and he hasn't bled too many hit points he's only really made good trades waits for it waits for it waits for that nearly no he doesn't he just lets lets it fly and it hits the man has the rng of james bond i love it holding again waiting for that extraordinarily long reload it is 14.6 seconds with all the bells and whistles that is a lot reload a lot of reload the 71 got... oh ho, ho, ho. look at that turret bouncy 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 3v2 here uh and he's already at five and a half k as he heads back across the bridge towards the sand trap in the middle which is not a lot of fun the type 71 needs a little bit of help he would have been dead if the 140 had a... like the 140 took so much damage coming around there uh he could have just gone up and killed that type 71 taken all that damage anyway and it would have been a lot better off it's a 1v2 now where is the 183 that has two kills what is what have you done with him 183 afk yeah the wrong 183 unfortunately is afk that was a wild shot from the grill the 183 firing though actually makes it an easier decision if you've already taken the damage you may as well get the most out of the damage you take and uh and roll forward into the grill there to get the shot down 183 coming backwards and pickle pants here makes a wonderful call because he knows there's an afk 183 at the back there's a minute 52 left he's got 332 hit points and that is an extraordinarily healthy 183 on the red team rolling through to get into him oh what to do what to do what to do one of the things that the afk is going to do here that is classic blitz and you can take advantage of this is it's going to give pickle pants a warning 
if the 183 attempts to head around the back of the map. You can see the 140 saying FVAFK, and that's exactly what's happened here. You can see that the 183 over there has seen the AFK 183, and he's like, you beaut. There's nothing left on that 114. I'll kill this 183, kill the 114, go home a hero, and uh, oh, the first shot that Pickle Pants misses is a side shot, a broadside shot on a wide open 183. Unbelievable. Everything else has been going home uh, like a dead set odds on favorite. Now, Pickle Pants in huge trouble here. He doesn't have the most DPM. It's a 2,500 DPM heavy tank, which is not a lot of DPMs. And he doesn't have the time to wait. 30 seconds left. He needs something like a fire to help him out. And he needs to bounce a huge round from the A. Well, the 183 is probably going to go with Hesh and try to just splash damage. And so he should. Like, that's a lot of... Oh, dear. But he hasn't splash damaged. He's just hit a module. And that is an absolute disaster. The 183 had all the hit points in the world. He could have used AP there. Gone down and just done the business. And Pickle Pants has walked away with a 7 and a half K unlikely victory with an AFK on his team. Hell of a game there from the Amigo from Skucks. Hope you're doing well, Pickle Pants. Congratulations. Thank you all for watching. Hope you had a good time. Pickle Pants forever. 114 SP2. I might put a couple of my replays up in this thing too. Cracker of a tank. A whole lot of fun. Remember to like and subscribe. Be nice to your mum. Eat your veggies and walk the dog. Until next time, of where Amigos.